victory is coming. Gotta work. The victory is coming. Great firearm we have here. The victory is coming. The head to drop fighter. Chamber in 22. You guys kind of have a hard time seeing him, but the gun is safe. There's nothing in the chamber. All the chambers are empty, as you guys can see. The victory is coming. Trust the journey through the trial. Oh, safety. Safe. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, so it's my 22 here. Every day it tests, man. You gotta play your best. Play it. Can't break a shot. You gotta remember from the last video. That is Springfield XD. Chamber in 9mm. It's where it's a mess. Damn, bro. Closures next move to progress. Playing with trucks. Gotta swim a butter rest. I mean the Smith and Wesson XD9 chamber to nine millimeter as well as you guys can see. <laughs> all these guns are safe; they're all empty. No, as you can see, the slides are locked open. This gun also did come with a flashlight. Crimson Chase. It came with the flashlight. Fire with flashlight when I bought the firearm, so I got this one. Success is the ladder that we all try to climb. Gotta keep moving like we're running out of time. Progression. Ain't got a whole lot of time. Progression. The Taurus G2C. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the written Taurus. Brandon Taurus across here. Um, this is Gunny Chamber and 40. Um, yeah, Chamber right here. So Chamber and 40. Success is the ladder that we all try to climb. Gotta keep moving like we're running out of time. Progression. Why are you wasting so much time? Progress. Right, we got the skinnets coming for the success is the ladder that we are trying to climb. Gotta keep moving like we're running out of time. Progress. Why are you wasting so much time? It's my Smith and Wesson. MMP 1522. Uh, it did come with a. It did come with the. A red dot sight, so you got to look down the barrel. I don't have a trans on right now, but it does have a red dot bird, it does have a red dot sight on it. Hey guys, this firearm did come with a 10 round magazine, but I was able to upgrade to a 25 round, so as you guys can see, 25 rounds fully loaded. These two magazines I loaded with FMJs. Focus on the higher up and stay on the mission. Eve at the apple and corrupted our decisions. I have a box of uh, blazing brass FMJs. I have two boxes of this. So you have two boxes of this here. I have a box of uh, Jack of the Hollow Points by T2 Research. So you do these are uh, the ones with the red dot in well, These are the the one no points in the inside. So, you can see. And from my local gun shop, I was able to pick up two boxes of uh, Jack of the Hollow Points. I don't know if these are um, empty or filled. I'm not exactly sure yet. I haven't used them. I haven't looked at them or anything like that. So I got these as well. Then I also have a box of uh, 9mm and Fiocchi's, 115 grain, use the same box of uh, PMC bronze, same thing, 115 grain. And once again, I have another box of blazing brass, as you guys can see, 115 grain as well. We got the Winchesters, 22, uh, 40 grain. Oh, these are uh, FMJ. I can't remember these are FMJ, the hollow points. Oh, yes, these are hollow points. These are hollow points. Um, I have a small box of Federals. Little uh, tricky box. These are uh, FMJs. Then I got a big box here. 500 rounds of uh, Remington Thunderbolt 22s. Now I have another box of Federal, 525. So, yeah, I got a lot of ammo here. For you Smith & Wesson, 180 grain. These are what I shot today. So I got about a half a box of these left. My first ever firearm that I ever purchased was the Springfield Armory. This was the first one I ever purchased. 
So this is this was, this was the one that started my gun collection. Um, when I first got it, I was a little intimidated by it because I wasn't familiar with firearms yet. So when I first shot it a little bit, like I said, I was a little intimidated by it. I put about, we'll say, 250 to 300 rounds through this one so far since I've had it. I've had this gun about two and a half to three years. I don't shoot it very often, but I have shot it a little bit. So, yeah, this gun has been in my collection the longest. Um, second gun I've had the second longest after this one was this one. My Smith was MP 1522. I got this firearm um, in 2018, almost 2019. I saw it. I saw it on, on the website, and I was like, I'm interested in this. I couldn't actually afford the actual actual AR-15, so I got the next big thing. The 1522 was to get, like I said, to get me ready. Uh, I put about. 250 to 300 rounds in this two since I've had that. So I don't I don't go shooting every day, but I'm gonna be getting more into it. The, the gun I bought third would be this one. This one. Uh, I got this gun. This I got this gun in 2020. Yeah, I got this gun in 2020. Um. Don't forget about the team. I've only put about about 50 rounds to this one so far. Um, this gun's okay. The only thing I don't like is the trigger because when you pull it, you have to go all the way back to the wall before it clicks and then the reset is all the way back at the beginning again. So, um, I'm actually going to be buying a trigger kit for this. Um, yeah, so this will be getting, this will be getting redone shortly. Um, other than that, I don't really know what else to do to it. I might add some grip tape to this, because I do, I don't, I like the handles. I feel like it could be a little stiffer, but, you know, it has a good little texture to it. Um, then the next two farms on this table will be, I put these two farms the same day. I've had these farms for about a week now. Um. This one, I, this was the first one out of these two. I picked up this one earlier in the day, so that yeah, was my first day shooting it. Uh, it's a basic 22 just for pinking and stuff, so I uh, I like it. No no recoil to it at all, so I able to practice and get a couple good headshots and I need to clean it. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty good farm. I've been thinking with it all day. I've been messing around with it, so... Yeah, I, I like this one really good. Notorious, Chamber 40. Uh, I shot this today. I wasn't really prepared to, to shoot it. I just bought the ammo for them. Like, I'm going to test out to see if I like it or not. Um, one thing I will say, compared to 9mm, this, this thing has a little bit more of a punch to it. So the gun range shoots a little more. Uh, break it in, but you know. So, I probably will be doing that shortly. I'll probably be upgrading and getting a G3 as well. But this, I'm keeping this. This is not going anywhere. And once again, like I said, everything you can see on this table has two magazines. You got two magazines here. You got two magazines here. And then you got two magazines here. Uh, I have another magazine for this one. But I'm only using my 25 because it's the biggest magazine that I have right now. So, this one... So 25. So as you can see, I got a couple different types of ammo up here. If you guys have any information, anything you guys want to let me know about, anything you guys want to ask me, you guys can leave any comments you guys want to leave on my channel. And um, yeah, so.